Casca. It wasn't the other Casca. Of the Presumably thing. Casca had read Sinner, whereas the Archbishop of Khomeini could not have read. No, he couldn't. Even read. in Farsi, that but, novel. Yeah. Would not by the been time been he, not by the time he issued a life and death sentence yeah. and caused the murder of translators and Indeed. publishers and right. others. Uh, would you, who do you think should have closed the theatre? Would you close the theatre? I think the crime is in those who close the theatre, not those who demand it be closed. And look, even though I, you must now know what I think about religious belief, I, am, I think I'm entitled to say that some people profane their own belief, even if it's not mine. The point of being a Sikh, as I understand, I think clearly from visiting Peshawar and going to the Golden Temple in Amritsar and elsewhere several times, is that Sikhism is a synthesis of all religions and a, an attempt to bridge the gap between them, especially in a very uh, tough part of uh, India and Kashmir. Uh, well, then how can you be insulted as a Sikh if what you believe is universalism? It's like the joke about the Buddhist buying the hot dog. Uh, he says to the man, make me one with everything. <laughs> um, and then hands over $10 and doesn't get stuff back and says, where's my change? And he's told, change comes only from within. Um, <laughs> the, the Sikhs claim to be universalists. So how can you be offended as a Sikh if you represent? Because... Quran says no com yeah. there shall be no compulsion in religion, doesn't it? Because they were offended as people, not as a religion. And this is the problem. Narcissism. This is what, yes, because... seeking uh, it, this is, I mean, the Sikhs, to some extent, share with the Jews a, 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 a commonality of being, to some extent, a people as much as a, a, a religion or... A race. I mean, you can offend a They're Jew in two ways. You can offend a Judaic Jew if you wish to by being incredibly rude about Judaic religion. There are not many rabbis yeah. that are likely to be offended. They're actually very thick-skinned and tend, tend not to get upset, though the more fundamental uh, areas obviously do. But there's also the idea that a Jew is a, is a person who can be Sigmund Freud, who can be an atheist, who can be Karl Marx, who, uh, and, and, and you, you attack the right of those people. And in a sense, I think the Sikhs in an excess of excitability, I don't mean that to sound patronizing, felt that it offended them as a people, not the tenets of their religion, which they probably didn't consider in that. They just felt, hang on, we need to be counted as well. We live in Birmingham, we are part of a community, we want our community to be respected. Yeah, exactly. And we didn't, we didn't feel respected as Sikhs, not, not in any, they weren't having a theological debate about the nature of the play and whether it went against Sikhism, because as Christopher said, in a sense, you almost by definition can't. Or... Yes, but Jews, uh, Stephen, Jews used to protest very much about productions of The Merchant of Venice, for example. It was a common thing. Yes, it? because it's the... They, the, the... they hated it. They said it mustn't happen because it makes us feel uneasy and uncomfortable. And we, mm. we've had... No, they don't do that now. This is a separate point in a way. They don't do it now because they feel much more secure in England, and it's taken quite a long struggle, which I don't... That's exactly what I'm saying. Have but the point, the point but uh, about... we hope that this will eventually be true of Sikhs, but they're not going... Yeah to do it by impersonating the worst of the old Jewish self-pity. No, I, I wasn't defending point, that. Uh, there, that. There, there is a point here that I'm, I'm in a position to make, perhaps you're not going to do so, which is that in, in the case of this play, the play was written by a radical woman who was critical of the attitude to women among the Sikhs. This has happened also in Islamic writing, that young, often young, uh, assertive, and devout Muslims write a critique of their own faith, and it is the patriarchal nature of, of the uh, faith that comes down on them as a way of control. Religions are a very effective way of controlling women and uh, keeping them it shows in a particular... how they're man-made. That's yeah. right, that's right. Yeah. For their if there's generation. one proof, if there's one proof that God did not make man, but man made God, that would be the shortest one. There are many proofs of this. Ontological and philosophical, that's the shortest one. The first joke in the world, Adam says to Eve, stand back, don't know how big this is going to get. <laughs> Another question. By the way, that's, this joke is necessitated by the creation story. You can't read it literally. You have to. Mm. Is there a microphone for someone there? I can't see. Yes, there. And anyone over here? There's a question over there. Yes. Would you be as aggressive as someone like Richard Dawkins in actually challenging religious people and taking issue with their beliefs? Isn't he? <laughs> would you, would doing, you be as aggressive? Christopher's as doing a good job. I mean... <laughs> I think he's made you fair. I have a great respect for Professor Dawkins and for his work, but I, um, I, I, I don't think I've been less critical of the religion in general and of the religious impulse in people. In other words, it's not what... Our quarrel is not with the priests and the rabbis and the mullahs, all of whom are willing to kill. Don't forget this. If I only make one point tonight, 
and it stays in your minds, it'll, have, it'll be enough. The Wahhabi want to kill the Shia. The Shia really hate the Wahhabi. Get used to it. Anyone who says, don't let's offend Muslim opinion, doesn't know what Muslim opinion is, doesn't know what happened in Afghanistan, doesn't know what's happening in Iran and Iran now. There is no such thing as a unified Muslim thing. There never will be, nor with Christianity. We hope, I look forward to a fight between uh, secular and religious uh, Jews in Israel, a uh, hope in which blood is spilled in order to remove the Messianic settlers. I really look forward to it. All the ingredients for it are there. Dawkins, I think, um, translates himself as an attacker of rabbis, mullahs, inciters, in other words, what the law, this bloody law, would call incitement. I say the fault is in ourselves. We're gullible, we're stupid, we're partially evolved, uh, we're racist implicitly, we're superstitious, we're afraid of the dark, we're afraid of death, we have, our prefrontal lobes are too small, our adrenaline glands are too big, our thumbs are hardly any good at all for opposition. We could do a lot better. Uh, the problem is with us, not with the people who live on our gullibility and our stupidity. That's, if I could just make you think that, religion makes religious people of the same faith want to murder one another because if you ban blasphemy once, the next thing you'll ban is heresy, which means you can't even disagree in the Sikh temple, as was shown in Birmingham. You can't disagree in the shul. You can't disagree in the mosque. And we, nobody needs to be told what happens if you're the wrong kind of Christian. So come on, get real about this. Yeah. Thank you. It's the product of our own evil. Where are you? Speak out. Hi. Um, will the introduction of IT cards um, increase racial and religious tension? Will, will the introduction of ID cards yeah. increase racial tension? It, I learnt... Uh, and increase the notion of blasphemy as well. I learnt that in uh, Pakistan, ID cards carry your religion. And that made me very alarmed. In Greece, until very recently, until the European Union laws forbade it, a Greek identity card had to say you were Orthodox, because you couldn't be Greek without being Orthodox. Yeah. And this is the this is in the country that gave birth to philosophy, to the science, to scientific inquiry, to religious freedom, but where its greatest exponent was put to death for blasphemy. What is it going to take for people to get this point? What is it going to take? I often wonder. Mm. There was a time when it went... But actually, I will say that if I was Homeland Security, I would not be looking for Mormons at present. <laughs> and I don't feel I have to apologize for saying that. The current jihad that aims to enslave the Muslim world in order to try and destroy our culture is largely carried on by people who really believe that God only...